Hey everyone, it's Natasha. In today's video, I have a Lakeshore learning haul for you. So I'm gonna jump right in and show you what we got. So the first thing is this Real Bugs Discovery Kit. It has a scorpion, which my six-year-old was very excited about. We used to have real runs in our uh, last house, which I was not so excited about. Yeah. But uh, she is very excited about these. Yeah, yeah. All right, next thing. Then we got these. All right, I have a Sight Words Seashell Game. I also got this uh, to play with my six-year-old. Thought that would be fun. And to play with my six-year-old, I got this Spelligator game. How many words can you chump? So to practice um, her spelling, I thought this looked really fun. And I've never heard of this game before, but I saw it there, and so I thought it looked pretty fun. So I got that. And I got this Draw and Learn Studio. It is a whiteboard on both sides. And it's got the um, magnetic letters, and it also comes with uh, three markers too. And it has the little door that keeps all the letters in here. So I thought this would be great for her dictation and spelling practice, and just all around seemed like a great thing to have. It's a wonderful size too. Yeah. And then next, I got this Survive the Quake Engineering Kit. If you're watching this video today when it comes out, these are on sale, like I think $10 off, and they had them on display. And so um, my six-year-old was playing with it, really liked it, but I think um, my older girls would probably like this too, but this was really fun. So you basically arrange the blocks and you try to get it not to fall oh, during yeah. an earthquake. So that's, and you can change the intensity of the earthquake too. So if you're doing any sort of engineering or architecture unit or earthquake unit, um, anything like that, this would be a really cool thing to add to it. Um, I got these volume cubes and these were on clearance for $10, normally 25. So I would not have paid 25 for these, but for 10, I thought that was good, especially because, um, that we're going to use these tomorrow. Actually, in math, I was gonna buy uh, sugar cubes, but then I saw these and I'm like, oh, these will be perfect. We can use these, these and then we can use them over and over. My uh, older girls are learning about a volume right now, so these are really good to explore volume. And then I got this Build and Learn Geometric Shapes Kit. Um, in Horizons 4 right now, we are learning a lot about geometry. And so I thought this would be good um, so that they can, you know, see the faces and the sides and the angles and all of that. So um, it gives them little activity cards to do. So use the sticks and balls to build a shape with six square faces. And then... Um, it has a little hint here. So I just thought that these would be really good. And then um, I have this Angles Measurement Center. And this was also on clearance. This was $23.99, normally $60, well, $59.99. So I thought that was a good deal. And it has, I'll open it up for you. It has some um, activity cards. And I opened up the activity cards in the store to make sure they were different because sometimes Lakeshore will have like classroom set of things. So it'll be like multiples of the same exact thing. And I didn't want that. So, but um, like I mentioned in Horizon 4 right now, learning a lot of geometry and learning a lot about angles. And I really liked these cards. And I believe it has an assessment in here too, if I'm not mistaken. It does. So it does have an angles assessment, which I really liked. Um, so you can see that they have mastered the concepts and it comes with these uh, foam angle dice mm -hmm. and these, oh, those are cute. the protractor, is that what those are called? Those are cute ones. And the little angle makers and some, I can't really tell what's in there, but something in there. So 
has everything you need for the activity cards. And then I got, got one of those. the length one. perimeter and area measurement center. This wasn't as great of a deal. It was $47.99, but um, the girls just started learning about area today. And um, I thought I would kind of go for my, excuse me, my sec or my first grader and um, my older girls because my first grader is learning about just like general measurement and things. But um, my older girls can uh, also use this. So it's got rulers and the blocks and the measuring tapes and, and the pegboards. Those are so fun. Those are so fun. And it's also got the the different cards here. Let me show you one. So got that. Okay. And, and then, then got a... I got these uh base 10 frames. Just a single package of those. It has two frames and 20 counters in it. Then we got and then I got these Dig and Discover Gemstones. I am teaching a uh, geology class at our co-op. And so this will be great. Um, you know, who doesn't love these Dig and Discover things? I also got this How to Teach Art to Children. You guys have probably seen this. It's from Evan Moore. Um, and I was going through recently the home learning year by year. I like to go through that as I'm prepping for the next year. And, um, you know, it said that in, uh, you know, I think it was second grade that they should be learning the elements of art. And so this does go through that. It goes through, oh, it has a materials list. It goes through line, shape, color, value, texture, form, and space. And it, it gives you information and has projects. And um, it, it's just really nice. And so I do teach um, art to my kids and our friends uh, once a week. And so I thought I could use this to do our art lessons. And I got these Fold and Learn Geometric Shapes. And I thought these would be great because my girls have, like I said, been doing geometry but it's specifically hard um, when they're trying to figure out, you know, how many faces a geometric shape is or how many sides. And so with this, they can actually fold these up and then put them in the um, plastic frame, I guess you could say. But then they'll be able to see, um, you know, the, the, this is called the net. So they'll be able to see with the net, you know, how many faces it has and how many sides and then when they put it together they can see how many angles and all of that so I thought this would be really helpful it comes with the cube triangular prism hexagonal prism cylinder square pyramid triangular pyramid rectangular prism and cone and then the last things I got were these Arizona dailies my fourth and sixth grader are doing an Arizona history class in our co-op and I saw these and thought they would go perfectly. Now, these are reproducible. However, I got one for each of them because um, for me, it's easier to just have it because I don't have a printer with a scanner or like a copier. So I have to scan it on my phone and then print it. And I do that if I have to, but I don't want to do that for a whole workbook. So I figured I would just get two of them. So that is my Lakeshore Learning Hall. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you love all things homeschool.